That's fucking strange. It's like it retreated. It's never done that before. It's like they're starting to think. Will! What on earth? I thought you were dead! Get off! I thought you were dead. What happened to you back at Arthur's? I was on watch. I thought I heard something, so I went to check it out. When I got back, you were gone. What's with all the questions? I understand. You must be knackered. I mean, half the stuff they teach us in basic. It doesn't mean nothing out there. I mean, I'm, I, I came across this young boy in this... This young girl. And they relied on me. They looked for me for protection, Will. I let them down. I let them down. Get me something to eat. I can't remember the last time I had something to eat. I wonder what people here would think. They knew you kept an infected locked up, feeding the animal and human body parts. Wonder if your new boyfriend friend John knows about it. Yeah, I wonder what they'd think about an attempted murder. It's an innocent civilian who took you in. I won't call someone that keeps an infected locked up. To fuck. Innocent. You're just a psychopath in a soldier's uniform. And I've only ever killed people to pose a threat to me. You and me are very much alike. Could come in handy. I'm nothing like you. What are you doing talking to civilians? You should definitely support the medic and then to your commanding officer before you go wandering around camp. Please, can you follow me? I'll see you later, Arthur. Corporal Webb, this better be important. Sir, it's Williams in the other camp. We're under attack. Okay, give me the radio. Williams, this is Commander Nathan Swain. Come in, Williams. Okay, just calm down, Williams. What do you mean by intelligence? We used to receive daily contact with them. Then nothing for a month. Then out of nowhere, this. For fuck's sake, Swain. This is it. You're not safe. No one is. There is no. Hey, Williams. Williams. Come in, Williams. Nathan. Williams. Nathan. Stop. There's no use. They're all gone. Okay, when was the last time we were attacked? Um. Um. It, it was when Private Carter joined us, about eight days ago. Okay, and before that? Two more that day, three the day before that, two the day after that, and four more the day... Okay, before. enough, Williams. Shit, sir. It's happening to us. This is what happened to Williams' camp. We're fucked. What are we going to do? The best way to predict the future, Corporal, is to invent it. Man does not live by knowledge alone. He is an emotional creature. Religion serves the emotions of man in times of his suffering and disappointment. You see, John, religion is the ultimate source of social cohesion. The primary requirements for society is the possession of social values, which my faith gives. Mm -hmm. Wives should be faithful to their husbands. People should be honest and virtuous. Children should obey their parents and not tell lies. These are some of society's values that maintain social cohesion. I'm not sure when the last time you looked was. But I don't remember seeing any children playing around here, do you? No, but it's more of a statement on how humans should act within society. Mr... The name's Arthur. And I think that's enough for, that for one day, don't you? No, but... Arthur, what were um, you and Will talking about earlier? I mean, it's nice to see you two getting on. Help! Help! What the hell is going on? He was starting to act weird, so I took him to the medic bay. <laughs> Turns out the bus is infected and he didn't tell anybody. Well, well, I can't be the one to... Somebody! Carter! Carter! Don't worry. I know what needs to be done. I'll do it. You? Well, I guess you've been cleared. Just take him out quick. He's making a scene. My pleasure. I'll go with you. There are two competing impulses that exist within all human beings. The instinct to live by the rules and the law and follow moral command or not. 
I have a feeling Will is the latter. Poor guy. This is a brutal world we live in. Even so much of a scratch, one of those things is enough to get you killed. Are you right, mate? Carter, do as you're told next time. While I have you though, there's a meeting at 0700 hours tomorrow morning and I expect you to be there. Why so early? Because that's an order, that's why. Maybe loading magazines for a few hours tonight will help you get an early night. Come with me. Morning guys. Bloody hell, that Wiggins give me a right job worse at times. I didn't get a wink sleep because of him last night. Yeah, he's a pain in the arse, but he's got his uses. He's a fucking desk jockey. Any whiff of danger and he shits himself. Yeah, he's got nothing to worry about with me and my baby around. I'll hold his hand if he needs it. Oh yeah, because you're such a fucking hard man, aren't you, Dom? Fuck you, Will. Whoa, whoa. Where's, um, where's BB anyway? Oh, he's communing with the father. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep it down, lads. Okay, you're probably wondering why I've called you all in here so early in the morning and in secret. So I'm going to cut straight to the chase. We believe the infected are regrouping and are about to attack this camp. Infected? Regrouping? Yeah, I don't know if you're aware, but we've lost contact with all other camps now. Uh, apparently the attacks stop, then a few weeks later, the infected come in waves of hundreds, if not thousands. It's as if they've planned it. We need to find a stronger, more secure camp to re-establish ourselves. Okay, Webb here is a skilled navigator. He's our best. He's going to be radioing coordinates from the first location, which is an unexplored farmhouse just outside our own boundaries. We're hoping there'll be enough supplies to get you from there for the rest of your search. We only have enough provisions to get you there. I know it's a big risk, but you all knew what you're signing up for. We only have three weeks before we think the infected will attack. So time is of the essence. Wiggins here will be leading this mission. Wait, what? But sir. You're the best man for the job, Wiggins. But Nathan, Swain, how am I supposed you're to- You're fucking joking, right? How many combat missions have you been on? None. Don't worry, Wiggins. Me and this group of ultimate tough bastards will look after you. With this around, none of those dick-eating infected are gonna get anywhere near us. That's enough, Webb. Swain, I think we need to discuss this in private. There's nothing to discuss, Wiggins. And Carter. Sir? Congratulations, you've been promoted to Corporal. Thanks to your experience in the field and your success in previous missions. Thank you, sir. Huh. Well done, John. Pretty soon you'll have your own desk. Okay, Webb, that's enough. Thank you, guys. We're really depending on you for this. Gather all the food, weapons you need, but you need to go, now. Good luck, men, dismissed. It should be your mission to lead. Goodbye, sir. Our supplies are running low. Mm. They were supposed to last us the entire journey. How much further do you think until we're there? Right. This pathway here is where we should be. The manor house just up here, no more than 10 clicks away. We should be there by nightfall easy. Good, good. Excellent. This farmhouse, I've got a bad feeling. What we're going to find there and who. What are you so worried about? We've got God, remember? We've all got God, Will. No! You've got God, and I've got this. This is all I need at my side. Is anyone else getting the feeling we're being followed? Yeah, I've got three douchebags following me. I'm being serious. I feel like we're being watched. All right, guys, keep it down and stay alert. I know we're tired and hungry, but we're quite close to the next location. Let's go.
Okay. Yeah, you can help me. Please. Well, if I can got me. <coughs> Please, it's not going hard. Just help me. Please. Stay where you are. Don't come any closer. Busting shoot, sir. It's going to draw attention to us. He's right, no one shoot. You can just cut the fucker. You won't hear a thing. Wait, he's still human. It doesn't seem right. It's your call, sir. You could just leave him. No, no, sir, no, we can't leave him. He'll follow us. He'll bring others to us. You sure this isn't so? You can't make it. Just fucking kill it. Leave him. Fuck this. Was that? Right, Riggin, we're here. We're about to reach the farmhouse here. How do you want to do this? I think it's best we split into two groups. One check out the farmhouse here, and the other group to look at the uh, surrounding buildings around the farmhouse. Carter, get over here. Carter, being corporal now, I want you to direct the surrounding buildings here with BB, while I go in the main building around here with Webb and Green. We need to stay as quiet as possible because we have no idea what is in these buildings. As soon as you are done, come meet me at the top floor of this building here. Right. At least there we'll have a better view of the surrounding area. And while we're doing that, we'll radio back a progress report. Okay? Okay. Right, John, tell your group we're gonna call this the rendezvous point, okay? Right, okay. All right, lads, let's go. I'm very expecting something. You're not wrong there. Come on, Don, let's get you upstairs. Yes, sir. His face worse than death. He took the easy option. How are you so fucking emotionless all the time? Don't say faith! John, don't get so angry. We need to get used to things like this. I'll never get used to them. Seven years in a young offender's home, where all you know is suffering and neglect. Faith was my only way out. Well, there's no way for us up here. I can't stand to be around any of You're in God's hands now. What a fucking waste of time. There's nothing here. This place is far too vulnerable. Staying here really isn't an option. I guess there's one more place we can check where there could be supplies. The basement. Oh, dom dom dom. 
Don't worry, guys. I've got a clip. Up here. No one's gonna get in here, Ash. You guys go. You're so stupid, Arthur. How do you know you weren't followed? You're going to be the death of us. People are relying on us, you know. I can look after myself. No, no, wait, wait. <sighs> well, I do agree with BB, Arthur. What you did was really stupid. But I thought of him before. He's useful. He can help us out. You wait until Wiggins finds out about this. One woman this way. Stay right. in the building. Get off, Joe. I'll cover the exit. So, what's going on? What the fuck? I just took care of one. Where's she coming from? She came from inside. Get off, Joe, now. I'll cut the Guys?
I mean this. Sorry, pal. But I think I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna kill you myself. It looks like fate. Clap!